I need to take care of myself and my mental. And that's how I would do it. Leaving the situation after enforcing my boundaries and speaking my mind. And the fact that what I was thinking has already been thought by two other people without me even talking to them is wild. It shows that everyone is on a similar page when it comes to this. I'm go- Is that my car? What is making that noise? There's a grumbling. I don't know if that's me. There's a grumbling noise and I don't know if it's coming from my car. I just turned it off, so that should get rid of it if it was my car. I'm going home from work to eat lunch and then I'll be back over there in about 50 minutes, 45 minutes. So I have to leave my house in about 40. That's enough time for me to eat. The weather is super gloomy today. It's been like this since Friday evening. Long time no see. It's been a while since I last recorded. So I'm gonna try and summarize everything that's happened since the last time I recorded, which I think was when I was about to go inside my house to eat lunch. So since then, I was trying to eat my lunch and then I heard a loud scream coming from my housemate's room and I was like, what is going on? I was like, are you okay? What happened? And it turns out that there was a huge wasp. It was literally like this long. It was huge. It looked like it had a stinger. I think it was a wasp. A yellow jacket I don't know but it was something huge and it had come in to her room through a slit in her window and that window keeps opening by itself it's one of the top windows so I've since emailed my landlord about it and hopefully they have a solution for that and I was thinking about what to do and I had recently killed a wasp like two weeks ago maybe because they had come in and Ellie the cat was trying to play with it and I was like Ellie is literally about to get stung and I don't want to see how that turns out so I ended up catching it with a strainer and tape inside of it I rolled a piece of tape taped the ends together and that was put onto the strainer and that's what I used to be able to catch the bee and also I put tape in the same fashion on the window itself so the bee could fly onto there and get stuck because it kept flying onto the window bumping off of it and then flying back into the window you know how flies and other insects do that so it worked and when it landed on that piece of tape i caught it with the strainer i just put it over and it got stuck on that piece of tape too i feel like i have a comment on my pinky i don't know why so since that happened she was like can you help me and i was like yeah i'll try my best so i was looking for tape to try and catch it that way and put it on the largest strainer there is so I can cup it over but I saw that it was aiming like it was going toward the slit in the window and I was like it might just go out if this bee or wasp whatever it is is smart it's gonna try and go out so when I was searching around the house for the tape because they couldn't find it in its usual place that's when I heard her say it's gone and I was like thank god so it went away and I've since taped those two windows shut because another window has the same problem in her room. It's terrible. So she's been dealing with this issue for a long time and that includes having cold air come inside because of it. And that's an issue because then we have to pay more for calefacción, for heating. And in the summer, all the bugs come in because of that. I didn't know that this was a problem, but thankfully we're gonna get it solved soon, God willing. We also have that dryer problem, so that's annoying. And we tried looking at the breakers. One of my housemates did it. And the breaker doesn't fix the problem either when we shut it on. And thankfully they're all labeled, so she had no trouble finding that. And then after that, what did I do? Okay, so I kept eating, <laughs> finished eating. Went back to work, was there until like 7 basically. Got home. And then helped my boyfriend wash his car here using my hose in the back there was so much pollen on it on the top it looked like the car had yellow dandruff it was that covered in pollen it's crazy because his dad had parked it right under a tree so we put, just blasted everything off with the water and then i helped him dry it all up with some microfiber towels after that did I do? I just ate my leftover chipotle, we chilled in my room, talked about the day, talked about current events like we usually do. And now I got ready for bed. This is what I'm going to do. My Sabbath school lesson, study the Bible, and I'm trying to wake up early tomorrow at the same time as my boyfriend because he has a early morning shift that starts at 6 tomorrow. So I'm like, let me wake up with you so I can have an early productive day and also to be in solidarity with you 
That'd be nice. So I'm gonna try and wake up at like 5.20ish, 5.30 the latest. So I can have an early start to the day. I wanted to go to the cafe today. I haven't been there all day. It's so sad, tragic. Play the tiny violin for me. So I'm gonna go tomorrow. I need my cafe fix. I haven't been to a cafe since Thursday or Friday and it's now almost Tuesday. So you can imagine that my mental health isn't at its prime. <laughs> Honestly, cafes truly boost my mental health. I'm gonna go to sleep after this Bible study and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, super quick update because I'm on the line waiting to go into work. It's the next day, good morning, how are y'all? And I forgot what I was gonna say. I am running dangerously low on gas. I have a quarter tank of gas. So I'm gonna try and do that right after work. I need to fill it up ASAP. It's still gloomy. I think it's gonna be gloomy for a couple more days. We're expecting thunderstorms today. Finally out of work a lot later than I expected and planned to be, but alas, I'm out. And I'm about to go in my house. And of course, since it's super bright outside, we gotta set up this shade foil. I don't know what this is called. I forgot. Sun visor? Sun cover, I'll call it sun cover for the car. Since I hung up all, all of my clothes everywhere around the basement since the dryer isn't working last time, now is the time to fold everything and store it away. I also want to clean my room. That's what I'm going to do before we head out. Everything is collected. Over here. I folded everything so I don't have to do that when I get up. I can simply put everything where it belongs. Clothes have been stored away and now I can put all of my dirty clothes in there. Now it's time to clean my room. I'm gonna sweep, then steam mop, and both of those steps go after I wipe everything down. unboxing for goods that were supposed to come here before i went on the camping trip i went to this past weekend and there are some other goodies in here so it's not just items for that let's make this quick because it's super hot outside and i want to be outside and you get some vitamin d i'm sweating a little bit because it's hot and humid i went outside to drop off the kitchen garbage because it was full so i took it out i also steam mopped and every time i steam up I get hot for some reason. Maybe it's the humidity and it is humid in here too in the house. I also went outside <laughs> to go put the emergency blanket and the microfiber towel that I cleaned and dried into my car. So I was out there and in the little time that I was out there with my all black outfit, I got hot. If you need a package cutter, by the way, you should get this one. It's reliable, trusty, it's sliced. It doesn't have any metal on it, so you don't have to worry about slicing anything open. It can slice packages open, but not your skin. Unless you're super harsh with it, probably. First package, camel pants. Now I have to figure out <laughs> a way to use this, a way to style this, because I literally only bought it for the camping trip and it didn't come on time, so I didn't get to wear it. That's okay. I'll still make good use of my money because I don't want to return it. I hope it fits. I need to try it on actually. I might have to return it. I don't think so though. It seems to be my size. I'll try it on right now after I do this unboxing. I got a basketball. I got a round brush to use with my new Shark Flex Style Kit because I want to get that blowout look. I want to be able to do blowouts in the comfort of my home, so this is gonna help me tons. I was trying to use the brown brush-esque brush that came with my kit for wavy and straight hair, but it's like a stub. So imagine this, bigger and without the handle. There's just a little chunk that you can grab. <laughs> That's it, it's super inconvenient, so I needed to get this. I got laundry detergent sheets. They smell good. 
This is the first time I'm using sheets, so I'm gonna have to let y'all know how that goes. If I forget to let you know in a future vlog or video, let me know and I'll let you know. This has 160 blows. I got this on Amazon. This is the brand Poesy, and the scent is Magnolia. I got another one with the fresh linen scent. And then lastly, very important for all my travels this year, I just booked another flight earlier today for a future flight. And of course I'm gonna vlog it. I vlog everything. Almost everything, yeah, almost everything. But important events like trips, I definitely vlog. And I post on here for y'all to see, so subscribe if you haven't yet. I need this because I haven't bought one, surprisingly. I've taken so many trips in my life and I never got a luggage scale because I always said to myself, I'm never gonna surpass the weight. And I, at this point, I'm skilled enough to know if I've surpassed the weight limit just by carrying it with my hand. But it never hurts to be super extra sure and it gives me peace of mind. I think that is worth all the time and money in the world. And there was one time that I actually surpassed the weight, but it was when I was traveling with my mom and my sister, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it was just me. I don't remember. It was only one time though. And we had to get rid of some items right then and there. And it happens to people. I'm not exempt from that, so I don't want that to happen again. And out of all the trips, maybe I've taken tens at this point. Not hundreds, we're not there yet. But I only went through that once and it was a long, long time ago. Got three refills for my wild deodorant. This one is a cherry blossom sensitive one. It smells good. Yeah, it smells really good and fresh. They're cute. They have minimal packaging, which is great. And then I got this one. What is this one? Coconut and vanilla. Sensitive. Right here. Oh, it smells so good. This yeah. is the third one. Jasmine and Mandarin Blossom. This one is insensitive. I think it'll be fine for my pits though. It smells scrumptious. And I'm gonna show y'all how to refill your empty wild case because this is the first time I have to refill it. So we're gonna learn together. I think from the instructions that I remember, you have to twist the bottom like you're pushing up the deodorant all the way up, all the way up until it doesn't move anymore. So for me, that's it. You can see that everything is scraped out because yes, I did scrape it out with my finger and then I put it on because I'm not wasting any product. This costs a good amount of money. So you do it like that until it doesn't move anymore. Then you press these tabs in, these two tabs on the side, and then you pull this tiny tab out like that. And you can clean this out if you want or you can just pop the next one in. It's just this tiny cardboard feeling piece that you have to get rid of. I think I'll do cherry blossom sensitive because that feels the most springy and we're not in summer yet and these are more summer vibes. Coconut and vanilla, jasmine and mandarin blossom. So let's go with this one. Unwrap the refill like that. It has a soft cardboard wrapping. Now with the naked <laughs> deodorant refill, I finally pop it onto the tab. After 500 years of trying it. So don't press too hard because you might smash it and it'll fall apart. That's it. <sighs> smells really nice. Now y'all know how to refill a wild deodorant. These pants feel kind of weird on me. I don't know if y'all can sense how weird it is on me. It's kind of loose up here while it's a bit snug here and mega loose down here. But if it looks good, we can work with it. Putting the laundry detergent sheets where they belong. I think I'll start with the fresh linen one, so I'll put that on top for when I'm done with this one. This is what I'm using right now. It's a good solid buy if y'all are interested. It's vegan method laundry detergent. I use a fresh air scent and it does smell delicious. There we go. I'm gonna have to tiptoe to grab that, but it's okay. I could use the calf exercise. Double glassed up on a Monday. These glasses block out a lot. When I wear them, I can't see the viewfinder. They fully loaded his bowl. It was literally denting this in top. They were like, let's pack this. He deserves it. Mine is pretty packed too. Better more than last. Whoever packed these for us, thank you. This is the city hall of Frederick, Maryland. And the fountain in front of it. Okay y'all, that's the end of the vlog. Just came home from walking in the park with my boyfriend. I actually saw my housemates there playing tennis and they were recording some content to do a Challengers themed situation going on there. So Challengers themed, yeah. 
they were filming challengers themed content i'll just leave it at that that's way more simpler than whatever i was trying to say i was trying to say content for a challengers trend maybe it's a trend i don't know maybe they're sharing the trend Anyways, it was fun and there was this terrible person that was passing by and they had a megaphone and I saw them at the stop sign and they were trying to turn right and then when they turned right and they were going across the length of the park, the long side of it, he was like, look at all these fussies with a P in the beginning. And then he said, gosh dang, the actual bad version, tennis is for F word slur i was like and i couldn't even say anything because they were already zooming past and they were going fast because you know they don't want to get caught they don't want anybody to be talking to them or reporting them and i was like ah oh, i wish i had more time to see their license plate and call the police report them and be like this specific car model with this license plate has people who are doing hate speech and who are harassing people who are just trying to play tennis at the tennis courts in baker park it was so bad was so annoyed but the tennis players seemed unfazed including my housemates so i was like as y'all should even though that person should have never done something like that i'm going to sleep early tonight it's 8 43 44 now my alexa just changed i'm surprised she didn't turn on when i said her name and i think i'm just gonna study my sabbath school lesson and a yawn is coming up yeah it was coming up and I think I'm going to transfer all of the footage that I have on my SD card right now so I can start editing this vlog and start the new one tomorrow. Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching always. Thank you for your support. We've been growing recently, so if you're new, thank you so much. And if you're not part of our community, then you should definitely consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and turning on post notifications so you can join us. I hope you all stay blessed. May God protect you always. And I will see you next time. Bye.